Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Crowley versus Houston. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Crowley, you have petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that the defendant is the father of your two-year-old son, Dior. Yes, Your Honor. You claim to remember the exact night you conceived and therefore he is your child's father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Houston, you say you are certain that you are not her child's father and claim to have proof to support your case. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Houston, she says you do nothing for Dior. Is that true? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. And only reason why I don't, because I felt like I wasn't going to do nothing for the baby until I found out he was mine. Um, me and Don, we've been knowing each other since we was kids. We grew up. I went to Detroit, came back. I met her. She was going through her little situation with her boyfriend. So we connected. I even got evidence of the proof of when me and her got together and, and all of that. It was just when she told me that Dior was born, it was no way it could have been my baby because I was out of town. I haven't been back in Rochester for numerous of years. So when she was contacting me, I told her I wasn't going to do nothing until we found out Dior was mine. I asked her, I told her I'd pay for a DNA test. She denied it. Ms. Crowley, Mr. Houston is saying he's doing nothing for this child because it's not his. Um, I gave him an opportunity when I went to child support and I did it when my baby was around six months. Um, I got the DNA test. He never showed up for it. So he's not trying to see if this is his son. Because I was not in town. So you went and you tried to get the DNA, but you say he didn't show up for that and he's done nothing for the child. Nothing. I've been taking care of him by myself, trying to go to school, work. This girl been infatuated with me since we was in eighth grade. <laughs> No, I haven't... I, I had a no, crush no, on him no, when no, I was listen. in eighth grade. Well, that was it. School, she, she wanted to talk to me. I didn't give her no time of day because she... I never she, tried to talk she to was him. Always, I didn't even know if he even knew me. So I, I don't even know, know what he's talking about. I didn't give about. her no play because she looked like a nerd. Me and her didn't have oh. no type of... No nothing. We were just... A nerd that there. he eventually talked to, but so... So you so. finally did, ultimately... Right, yeah. See how beautiful she to, was? He had to like me some kind of what he's telling me he loved me. I'm sending him money and all type of stuff like Honestly, that. Honestly, me and Dawn, we reconnected when I came back. That, like, that's why, that's why I had the evidence. When I came back to Rochester, she was going through a little issue. I know, like, like I once told you, I've been knowing her since we was kids, since okay. seventh grade. So when I saw Dawn, she told me what she was going through with her previous relationship with her boyfriend. So her sister put her out. My mother, right here, my she has a... Never, my sister never well, put me out. at the time, out. she told me her sister put her out, but I don't know if she got put out or not. She came to stay with me and my mother. Never stayed with him and his mom. I lived around the corner. How, why, what, when did I stay with so him So you're and his saying mom? she came to stay at the house with his mother and you say you never did. That's his mom that I stayed there. I never... I spent the night a couple of times. Have you spent the night at his mother's house? Spent the night, that's about it. Staying with me, your clothes there, you there, you eating there. My clothes the never, was never Shoes there. At my the house. bottom line is that's how this relationship started? It was never no relationship. It was just a sexual... It wasn't even no sexual. She... <laughs> Basically, well, clearly so you you wasn't here if there was... basically, I ain't seen you in a couple of years. I like you now. What's up? We grown. Basically, we did what we a did. A sexual relationship. Sexual was, was relationship no re that was telling me that he loved me and stuff like that. And he, oh, I'm his baby mom and sending me all these kind of text messages. He loved me, all of this and all that. Yeah, he that's lying. a lie. He lying. Yeah, that's a lie. If he didn't steal my phone, I have the text messages right now. Now I stole... In your mind, this was a relationship, Miss Crowley. Yes. You were in a relationship. Yeah. We I wish you were in a relationship. When I came around, she had a whole boyfriend. I was staying that wasn't, with her. That wasn't my on boyfriend. And he, couch. he knew that I was messing with other people. That wasn't my boyfriend either. So, Numa, she was sleeping uh, around with a lot of men. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, Not wait. Not like a relationship, just So, you were sleeping with other people during the time you were also sleeping with Mr. Houston. Yes, and he was too. You're saying... No, he that got... even though you were with other men while you were with M Mr. Houston, you know the night, the exact night you conceived. Yes. What night is this? March 11. But how do you know that's the night you conceived? That's the date that the doctors gave me. Yeah, I, I got information staying right here. What she's telling you is a lie. Jerome, let me see this evidence Mr. Houston has. Sir, what is this exactly? Um, that's a calendar. All right, and this okay. calendar... The blue marker, that's she stay in March 11. That's when she said we had sex, correct? The other markers right there, I couldn't leave the state due to I had something going on. 
So on the 20th... So you were out of state. I was out of town, yes. I was On in March 21st. Yes, ma'am. I mean, saying I got nothing. to Rochester the 23rd because I caught the Greyhound. I left on the 22nd. I got there on the 23rd. I didn't meet Dawn until this day. Let me see that calendar as well. On this particular calendar, oh, it that. shows you met... Miss Crawley, you say on April 13th? That's when we had sex. Yeah. That's when you had sex? Yes, ma'am. So you're saying the day she says she conceived on March 11th may be her conception day, but it wasn't with you? I wasn't even in Rochester on that date. And Dior was born on December 11th? Correct. So, Miss Crawley, you say this is not correct. You say the conception date was so March I spent, 11th. I spent the night at his house He says myself. he wasn't even allowed to be in that state then. I don't know what, what he what he lying about that too. Then I don't know, I don't know what situation he yeah, was. Yeah, and in. I couldn't leave the state because I was on probation. Being honest with you, so I know for a fact I wasn't in New York March the 11th because my probation officer didn't let me leave until the 21st until I got signature saying that I can leave. When and I you're got... saying you did not only did you not leave, you weren't even intimate with her until April 13th. Yes, ma'am. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Her, her boyfriend left her for another girl. She came around sad. I was the one to come. That wasn't my boyfriend she been and he didn't leave me because I still was talking you. to him too. How about that? Yeah, having an unprotected sex, that's your boyfriend, correct? If I was I having with sex him, with you I... too. Is you my boyfriend then? That was, that's when you was at. You wasn't messing with him no more. <laughs> he left you. You ain't had nobody but me. So well... That's what you think. <laughs> So, Miss Crawley, you were having unprotected sex with Mr. Houston. Yes. One time, Your Honor. The first time we had sex, we had, we had sex with a condom. Dawn told me late sex irritate her. So I asked her, I said, the last I never group... told him that either. See, he lie about listen, everything. So Your he Honor, lying about half the things listen, that he's Your saying Honor, to you right now. The last dude she was with, I asked her, I said, was you, the dude I that don't, was staying with you, was y'all having irritate unprotected me. sex? She said, Why yes. Why were you then having unprotected sex with Miss Crawley when you thought she had a boyfriend? No, I only had unprotected sex with Dawn of the night when I, on the, April 13th, my, we had a block party. Dawn, she stayed right around the corner from my mother's house. So when we had the block party, we was all drinking. Me and Dawn, we did our one-two without a condom. I don't know anything about this block party, because I didn't go. I don't know what he talking about. Well, why would you have unprotected sex with her or anyone if you didn't want to have a child? See, I was drunk. It was happening one time. That's when, that's when she popped up. She didn't even tell me she was pregnant or no, no. She popped up in October and told me she was pregnant. Months I later. told him and that's I was pregnant a little while after I found out. And I brought him and his mom the um, ultrasound pictures. So ultrasound when you first still. found out you were pregnant, Miss Crawley, why didn't you call him? I did let him know a little while after. Listen, yeah. How, how, how long I was after? still going to his house at when I was pregnant. So when she told you she was pregnant, Mr. Houston, what was your reaction? The baby not mine, because I couldn't have no kids. What do you mean? Listen. I got this paper right here from my doctor, correct? Jerome, may I see that, please? What is this paper stating? In 2009, I had surgery on my left testicle. It's called testicle contortion. What it is, boys like how they lay their body at nighttime when you shift, we have, we have tubes inside our testicles that circulate blood flow. When I was asleep, I shifted my body one way, my testicle went one way, so my left testicle swelled up as a size of a softball. I got, I got rushed to the hospital. When I made it to the hospital, the doctor just told me if I didn't come in just in the nick of time, I would have lost that testicle. So my sperm count was going to be down. It, I probably couldn't have kids for a while. That was 2009. So testicular torsion. Yes, ma'am. And it requires emergency surgery. Yes, ma'am. You are baby. correct. Blood flow cut off for too long, and it can cause the inability to father children. Correct. So you're saying that the dates being off, coupled with the fact that you had this injury, makes you doubt even further that you are Miss Crawley's child's father. Correct. But he should have. I actually get the anything. DNA test. What you tell me? No, I told you I paid for it out my pocket in Michigan. You, and he sent it never to New York. said he you never said tried no. to pay for any DNA my mother test. Right when, here. He, when I went through child support, why didn't he go to, the, to that one then? Child support. He they didn't want they... me to come. To, they wanted me to do it in Grand Rapids, so they had my mother swap. But Dawn wanted me to come to Rochester. I wasn't finna put my life on hold. Dawn because... didn't want you to do anything. There was an opportunity to take a DNA test, and you didn't go through with it. 
I went through, I did my part being my baby. He never showed no, me. No, Your Honor, CPS contacted me. They said, don't list you as a father. As you can see, right here on this birth certificate. Let me see that, Jerome. What is that, Mr. That's, Houston? That's your birth certificate. I didn't even sign the birth certificate, and he got my last name. So why did you decide to give the baby Mr. Houston's last name? Because it's his baby, and he know that's his baby. That's why him, he, he came to the hospital and his mom was there when I had the baby. Right. But that's yeah. not his baby. Nope. Your Honor, my mother called me, was like, Dawn's mother came, Dawn's having a baby. I was at the club that night, my mother called me and was like, come up to the hospital. When I got there, my mother was gone. Why would you do any mother, of that if that's that. not your baby, or but, you don't when, think when that's Dawn your baby? When Dawn talked to me after she had the baby, her exact words was, I just had the baby, Come see the baby. I said, is you gonna bring the other guy up there? She said, no. Mr. Houston, is this a picture of you holding? Yeah, your... her mother took it. Yes, that's correct. And his mom didn't take it. My best your friend Your mother there. took it. My best friend took that. My mom wasn't my even mother. at the hospital. I was on the but phone with my mom. But you don't have a look of doubt. You look like a proud dad in that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Keep Yana, Yana, listen. Think about it, though. I'm coming from the club. I've been drinking. I'm intoxicated. I get to the hospital. As soon as I walk in, I don't get no visitor pass. Just, she, her mother handed me the baby and it's like, stand by Dawn and take a picture. I did what her no. mother requested. Your mother is here. I'd like to hear from her. Ma'am, please stand. Miss Houston it is, Good am morning. I correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you know about this situation, Miss Houston? Do you believe this is your grandchild? Okay, now, the situation with um, my son, he didn't make it to Rochester until the 23rd. I offered to pay for a she DNA. She never offered to pay for You a lie. She and never don't offered to pay for any DNA test. Fire you out of you. Hold on. I offered to pay for she a DNA test. She never offered to pay for anything or I would let her pay for it. She told me that no, Why not? because D you need D'Angelo to swap. So you're saying that it is true that your son was not even in town. He didn't get there until, until the March 23rd, 23rd of March. Despite that, you still tried to be in the child's life. Because this is the thing. You met me At before. the end of the day, it's, it's not about Dawn, it's not about D'Angelo, it's about Dior. Right. It's about that baby at the end of the day, you know? And I'm the type of person that I'm a loving, kind-hearted person, and I will help anybody. It's clear that you stepped in to try to be a grandmother, but if I look at the calendar that's presented, you obviously have concerns and doubt because you're saying your son did not get to you until the night of what? March 23rd? 23rd? March, yes. And Ms. Crawley's saying she conceived on March 11th. Well, you know what, Your Honor? Are, are you saying that your son was not in town on no, March 11th? No, he was 11th? not in town on March 11th. Were you with any other man around March 11th? Probably. So you're admitting that there is another person you slept with during this same window of conception. But you say because the child doesn't look like the other guy, you've decided that it's Mr. Houston's. Yeah, and if they that put up the baby picture, like anyway. my baby look exactly like his baby picture. Dior, my baby look Dior exactly look like his baby like picture. Me, none like my two boys, none of that. What I want to know, Ms. Carla, is when you know you've had sex with other people as well, why would you give the baby the last name Houston if you knew you had slept with someone else during the window of conception? Because I... Because I... <laughs> I'm... That's because I'm that sure that it's his baby. You're saying it, the baby looks like him, but you gave the baby the name Houston when he was born. So how could you tell at birth that he looked like Mr. Houston. I don't have an answer for that. Like, I've been telling her, I wasn't going to do nothing for the baby until I found out 100% he was mine. So it's not like I don't want to be a part of his life. I just wasn't going to do nothing because I don't think that child's mine. And I don't feel I should be paying for something that's not mine. She's sleeping with another guy. That's why I didn't do nothing for her child. But if he's mine, I'm going to take care of him like a man's supposed to do, and she won't have nothing to worry about. All right, I think it's time for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Crawley versus Houston, when it comes to two-year-old Dior Houston, it has been determined by this court. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Mr. Houston, 
You are Dior's father. Now you got it down. Now you got it down. How was he out of town? Hey, can I see the baby? How was he out of town? <laughs> the first thing out of your mouth when I said you are the father is exactly what I want to hear. Okay. What did you say? Can I see the baby? That's why we're here. The rest of it, at this point, doesn't matter. Are you want to hug me? I'm good. Cool. I'm really good. Cool. You got to let go of this bitterness now because you got this baby. He's two years old. The truth is, you were correct. And now, your child, your son, has the opportunity to have his father in his life. The man sat up there and said, you don't have a thing to worry about anymore. I'm going to take care of my child. And he has the opportunity to have a grandmother that wants to be a part of his life. I know you may be angry because you feel like they said things about you that aren't true, but that's the point of a courtroom, just so we're clear. You tell your side and what your recollection is, and they tell their side of what their recollection is. But the DNA is going to solve the case. Amen. I'm gonna let him see his child because that's what we're here for. Yes. And I'm gonna see you all in my chambers. It's time for this young man to hold his child. Court is adjourned. Are you ready to see your son? Yes, ma'am. Jerome's gonna bring him in. I told you he was coming to see daddy. I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you. The beautiful grandson.